In this episode, we're diving into a topic that is at the core of all personal and professional transformation, self-awareness. Self-awareness is like a compass. It helps you understand where you are so you can navigate to where you want to go. Whether you're looking to grow personally, lead a team, or improve your business, self-awareness is the foundation for all meaningful progress. So, grab a notebook or your favorite drink, and let's explore how you can start building a more self-aware version of yourself today. Let me ask you this. How often do you take a moment to step back and really reflect on your thoughts, emotions, or actions? Many of us go through life on autopilot reacting to situations instead of intentionally choosing how to respond. But here's the thing, without self-awareness, we cannot recognize the habits, beliefs, or behaviors that hold us back. Today, we're going to uncover what self-awareness is, why it is so important, and how you can develop it to grow both personally and professionally. Let's start with the basics. Self-awareness is the ability to see yourself clearly and objectively. It means understanding your strengths, weaknesses, emotions, thoughts, and how your actions impact others. There are two main types of self-awareness. Internal self-awareness, this is about knowing who you are, your values, passions, and goals. And external self-awareness, this is about understanding how others perceive you, your behavior, communication, and relationships. Here's a simple analogy. Think of self-awareness as a mirror. When you look into it, you see both the surface, the visible things like your habits, and the deeper layers like your motivations or fears. But here's the catch. Being self-aware isn't always easy. It requires reflection, honesty, and sometimes even feedback from others. The good news is that it's a skill you can develop with practice. So, why is self-awareness so crucial for personal growth and success? First, it helps you make better decisions. When you understand your strengths and weaknesses, you can play to your strengths and work on your limitations. For example, if you know you procrastinate under pressure, you can create strategies to manage deadlines more effectively. Second, it builds emotional intelligence. Self-awareness helps you recognize and manage your emotions, which is essential for building strong relationships and leading effectively. And third, it drives personal accountability. When you are self-aware, you take ownership of your actions and their outcomes. This accountability is a powerful catalyst for growth. Here's an example. A business owner struggled with retaining employees. Through self-awareness exercises, they realized their communication style came across as micromanaging. By addressing this, they not only improved employee retention, but also strengthened trust within their team. Whether it's your personal life or your business, self-awareness is the foundation for identifying and solving problems. Now that we understand its importance, let's talk about how to develop self-awareness. Here are three powerful practices you can start using today. Ask reflective questions. Take time to ask yourself questions like, what are my strengths and weaknesses? What do I value most in life? How do I tend to react in challenging situations? Seek feedback from others. Sometimes our blind spots prevent us from seeing the full picture. Asking trusted colleagues, friends, or mentors for feedback can provide valuable insights into how you are perceived. Practice mindfulness and journaling. Mindfulness helps you stay present and observe your thoughts without judgment. Journaling, on the other hand, allows you to reflect on your emotions, experiences, and patterns over time. Here's a tip. Start with small steps. You don't need to overhaul your entire life overnight. Begin by dedicating five to 10 minutes each day to self-reflection and let it grow from there. Let's look at another example. A professional who felt stuck in their career. They kept switching jobs, hoping the next one would be a better fit but nothing seemed to click. Through coaching, he focused on self-awareness. It turned out they were pursuing roles that didn't align with their core values. They valued creativity and flexibility, but their jobs were highly structured and routine-driven. Once they recognized this mismatch, they pivoted to a role in a creative agency, and they have been thriving ever since. 
This is the power of self-awareness. It helps you make choices that align with who you truly are, leading to greater satisfaction and success. Self-awareness is the key to unlocking your full potential. When you take the time to understand yourself, your values, strengths, and blind spots, you gain the clarity to make intentional choices that drive growth. I encourage you to take one small step today. Maybe it's journaling for five minutes, asking a trusted friend for feedback, or simply observing your emotions during the day. If you are ready to dive deeper, subscribe to the Success Blueprint newsletter for exclusive tools and resources to help you on your journey. You can find the link in this post or visit pedrobarquero.com. Thank you for joining me today. In the next episode, we will explore how a growth mindset can be a game changer for both your life and business. Until then, stay curious, stay reflective, and keep building your success blueprint.